Grifters is a two to four player game in which players will be the crime bosses of their own crime team. They'll be playing cards to do jobs to get money. The player with the most money at the end of the game is the winner. Depending on the number of players playing the game, there's a pool of money in the coffers at the start of the game. With less players, there's less money. With more players, there's more money. One of the ways the game can end is if all of that money is gone from the coffers. Another way for the game to end is if the specialist deck and the discard deck for the specialists are completely empty. That will end the game as well. And if all of the jobs have been completed, the game will also end at that point. Each and every round begins with the advancement of time. All cards that are in the night one area will move to night two. Night two area move to night three. Night three area move to the refresh area. So in this case, all of these cards would basically do a slide over with this card being in the refresh area. At the end of the turn, any cards in the refresh area are put back into your hand. Following the advancement of time, players will then, on their turn, do one of two things, playing a single card from their hand into the night one area and doing the action on the card, or they will play as many cards as needed to complete a job presently available on the board. The jobs each have different symbols that they require, and you will have to pay exact. You will have to pay the cards from your hand with those symbols in the exact amount as written on the card. If you're able to do that, you will play them all into night one and you will take that job card and then do the reward on the job card. Depending on what it says depends on what you will do. If at the end of the game you have more than one of any of these job cards of the same color, you will get bonuses for those, those numbers. So you will get 2 million isk more as your bonus if you have two of the same color. This bonus is the same for all colors, but in this case you will see here clearly on the bottom, if you have two of these jobs, you will get 2 million extra. If you have three of the jobs, you will get 4 million extra. And if you have all four of the jobs, you will get $8 million extra. Again, like I said, after you have played the cards down, done the actions that you wish to do, which would be the one in the night phase, or again, playing to get a job card, you will end your turn by drawing your refresh cards back into your hand. There is no hand limit. You will always do what is written on the cards if you play them for their actions, and you will always do the reward written on the job card if you complete a job. All players begin their the game with three cards in their hand, including three more cards dr drawn off the top of the specialist deck. The three cards they always will have, you will have one of each of these, the Mastermind, Thief, and Pickpocket. They're your starting cards. They have abilities that they can use as their action if you play it down by themselves, but they also have the symbols you can use them if you wish to. These cards, again, will always come back to your hand, and there are cards that will be stealing cards from a different player or utilizing their abilities, you cannot steal a ringleader card from someone else. If you do, you basically just lose that action and you do not steal a card at all. All players also begin the game with three isk in their stash, which their stash should be placed visible to all players to the right of their board. There are five job stacks of differing colors. In a three-player game or more, you will make sure to use this one. In a four-player game, you will use this one. In a two-player game, you will not use either of these. And again, of course, in a three-player game, you'll use the other two, or the, excuse me, the other three, and this one as the additional. In a four-player game, you will use all five, which means you'll use this and all the ones below it. Now to go through the ringleader card's actions and what they do. The Mastermind allows you to draw three specialists, choose one and add it to your hand and discard the other two into the discard pile for the specialists. The Thief lets you steal two isk from the coffers, which is the bank in the middle of the table. The Pickpocket lets you two, steal two from an opponent's stash. If a, an opponent only has one, then you only steal the one. So you can choose to steal from whoever you wish, but you only steal up to two. If they don't have two or if they only have one, then you would just steal what they have to give you. I'll quickly go over these as well. The Snitch, reorder the cards in any hideout, meaning someone's player board, then steal one isk from the coffers, which means you get it from the bank. 
the wheel man, choose a team in your hideout. Now a team is when you have more than one card in one of your knights. So if you had more than one card here, meaning you would use them for a job, that is what that team is meaning. So team, when it says that from now on, that's what it's talking about. Return all but one specialist from that team to your hand. The thug, team up with a team up a card with the thug. So you put one with it, steal one million isk from every opponent's stash for each specialist in their hideout that has the same skill. And the skill again is the symbol. Middleman, choose a specialist in your refresh area. Again, the refresh area is to the right of your area there. Team up with the specialist with the middleman and immediately take its action. So you would just do that refreshed guy's action. Enforcer, draw one specialist and abduct one random specialist from an opponent's hand. Choose one to keep and give the other to your chosen opponent. Dirty Cop, steal an isk from every opponent's stash for each team in their hideout. Again, team, you would only ever have up to three teams because if each knight had a team in it, then you'd steal three from them. The inside man, you actually take from a, another player, take a specialist from any opponent's hideout, and immediately play that specialist down. Replace the abducted specialist with this card. So this basically swaps with someone else's guy, and you get to do the action of the one you take. But again, you cannot take a ringleader. If you accidentally try to take a ringleader, then it just does nothing. Hacker, duplicate the action of any opponent's specialist in night one, which means it has to be in night one, and of their hideout. Fugitive, draw all the specialists on the top of the discard pile and add it to your hand. Femme Fatale, after playing the specialist, you may advance time and play another specialist. So basically you play it in night one, and then you bump everything again as if you're doing the advance time, taking any refresh into your hand at that point, and then you can play another card into the empty space in night one. Command, steal an isk from the coffers and from an opponent's stash. Protégé, you may duplicate the action of a specialist in your hideout that is not in a team, so it has to be by itself. The fixer, draw two specialists, choose one to add to your hand and discard the other, then steal a million from the coffers. The fall guy, reveal a specialist from your hand and immediately duplicate its action. Counterfeiter, just steals from an opponent's stash. The blackmailer, swatch a, swap a completed job card from your stash for a completed job card in an opponent's stash, trying to get that set that we were talking about. We are talking about having uh, different numbers of sets, like the more you have of one color, the better, so you can get rid of one that you will have one of and, and add it to the others to make you have more of something. And of course, we're back to the snitch. Again, this game is played until there are no cards remaining in the specialist deck or discard pile. When all jobs are completed or when all of the money is gone from the center of the board, at that point, the player with the most money wins, but you will also add in your bonuses from your same jobs. Then there are tiebreakers in the rules if they are needed.